Hi everyone. Let us see one more example for the designing of a stable multi vibrator with a different duty cycle and a given amplitude. See here a question was given like this in the previous question papers design a pre running oscillator to generate a square waveform of amplitude 10 volts and frequency of 1 kilohertz with a 70% duty cycle. You are asked to design a free running oscillator. Free running oscillator or it is also known as a self generating circuit which is nothing but your a stable multi vibrator. So you are going to design an stable multi vibrator with the amplitude of 10 volts and a frequency of 1 kilohertz with a duty cycle of 70%. So what do you mean by duty cycle? Amplitude is given. Amplitude is nothing but Amplitude is nothing but VCC. VCC is equal to 10 volts. And frequency is given that is equal to 1 kilohertz. What is the width? Width of this signal T is equal to 1 by F. Or we can say time period. Time period is equal to 1 by F which is nothing but 1 millisecond. So in this 1 millisecond, you have given with a 70% duty cycle is nothing but 30% and 70%. So 30% off period, 70% on period. 30% off period and 70% on period. That means overall time period T is equal to T1 by T1 plus T2. Overall time period, overall duty cycle. Duty cycle is equal to T1 by T1 plus T2. So that is equal to T1 by T. So if T1 is 70%, then it is 100%, then it will be, that means nothing but you can say it is 70% of the overall time period. Or I can say like this, uh, 0 0.7 milliseconds as T1 and T2 is equal to 0 0.3 milliseconds then the overall time period will be 1 millisecond or 100 percent okay so now you are asked to calculate the designing parameters of such type of a stable multi vibrator so assume uh, we know already assume HFE we have to assume always 20 or 25 like that. Here we have, I am going to assume it as HFE is equal to 25. And saturation voltages like VB is at and VC is at. VB is at is equal to 0 0.7 volts. And VC is at is equal to 0 0.3 volts. And IC is at like in the previous case now we are also I am assuming IC set is equal to uh, 5 milli amperes. Okay, so this is the stable multi vibrator, a stable multi vibrator with the capacitors and resistors. So here is his RC. Okay, register values may be different, but uh, I am changing it as RC, RC, and See here, the time constant of the particular charging and discharging periods are completely depending on the product of these two and the product of these two. So, what I am assuming is, see, here T1 is equal to 0 0.7 milliseconds and T2 is taken as 0 0.3 milliseconds that is according to the given question. Now, 0 0.7 milliseconds and 0 0.3 milliseconds, it is overall 1 millisecond. So, we know T is nothing but it is a product of resistance and capacitance. Here also it is resistance and capacitance. So, resistance and capacitance, if resistor values are equal, we have to assume capacitors as different, then T1, T2 will be different. If both resistors and capacitors are same, then both T1 is equal to T2. If both are different or if any one of these components is different, then it will be leading to different time periods. Okay, that's why in this example, I am going to assume 
the resistors here uh, just r2 is equal to r3 or uh, i can say here it is r1 for example r2 then let r1 is equal to r2 is equal to r i am not equating capacitor values okay as i have equated resistor values that is fine but capacitors should not be equated if capacitors are equated then resistor should be different any one of those parameters should be different for different time periods okay so uh, now the time period is given already we have taken t1 is equal to 0.7 milliseconds and t2 is equal to 0.3 milliseconds and t1 is equal to 0.7 milliseconds t2 is equal to 0.3 milliseconds now let q2 be on and q1 be off that means it is one of the states for quasi stable state for one quasi stable state for one quasi stable state so now let us calculate the first value that is calculation of collector resistance calculation of collector resistance rc so rc is equal to vcc minus vce sat which transistor is in non state here second transistor divided by as the second transistor is in non state the collector current is ic to sat already i have taken uh, in the given problem it is given that the amplitude is 10 volts so vcc equal 10 volts minus vc sat is assumed like 0.3 divided by it is 5 milli amperes so 10 minus 0.3 that is equal to divided by 5 it is 1.94 it is fill, uh, milli coming to the numerator kilo ohms so rc is equal to 1.94 kilo ohms therefore rc equal to 1.94 kilo ohms coming to the calculation of r value r value is nothing but r1 is equal to r2 is equal to r before going into the calculation of this one ib2 minimum we know the relation between ib2 minimum and ib2 actual that is and prior to that in order to calculate this ib2 minimum we should know what is the saturation current and as well as the minimum flowing through the uh, minimum current flowing through the base so we know the relation between ic and ib ic is equal to beta ib or ic by hfe that is equal to 5 milli amperes by it is 25 that is equal to 0.2 milli amperes okay so we know ib2 actual is equal to 1.5 into ib2 minimum we know this relation it is equal to 1.5 into 0.2 this is nothing but 0.3 milli amperes since q2 gets its base since q2 gets its base driven from vcc through resistance r2 r2 here r1 both are same therefore r2 is equal to it is the voltage difference between either sides of that particular resistor vcc minus vbe2 sat as the second transistor is non state vbe2 sat and ib2 so you can name it as r1 or you can also name it as r that is equal to 10 minus 0.7 divided by 0.3 milli amperes which is equal to 31 kilo ohms therefore r1 is equal to r2 is equal to r 
that is equal to 31 kilo ohms. So what else we need to calculate? Capacitor values C1 and C2. Separate capacitors value, capacitor values we need to calculate as the time periods are different. So calculation of C1. Calculation of C1. We know T on is equal to nothing but T1 is equal to 0.693 R1 C1. As R1 equal to RT equal to R, we can calculate C1 is equal to T1 by 0.693 into R1. So that is equal to 0.7 milli divided by 0.693 into how much it is? 31 kilo. So that is equal to 32.5 nano farads which is C1. Similarly calculation of C2 calculation of C2 so C2 is also equal to we can T2 by 0.693 into R2 R1 equal to R2 equal to R same so T2 is nothing but 0.3 milliseconds divided by 0.693 into R2. What is R2? R2 is nothing but same. R1 equal to R2 equal to this one 39, 31 kilo ohms uh, 10 power 3. That is equal to 13.96 nano farad. Nano is nothing but 10 power minus 9. 10 power minus 9. Okay. So this is the value of C2. Therefore, the design values design values are R1 is equal to R2 is equal to R is equal to 31 kilo ohms collector resistance RC equal to 1.9 how much it is 1.94 kilo ohms and C1 is equal to 32.5 nano farad CT is equal to 13.96 nano farad. See the capacitor values are very 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 small. Till now we have calculated the capacitor values which are in only micro farads. But now the capacitor values we have obtained in terms of nano farads. 32.5 into 10 power minus 9 farads. And similarly that C2 is 13.96 into 10 power minus 9 farads. Okay this is the designing concepts of a stable multivibrator. In the next video, I will explain about the emitter coupled a stable multivibrator. Okay, as there are two types, collector coupled and an emitter coupled. Till now we have seen collector coupled a stable multivibrator and the next one is emitter coupled a stable multivibrator. Thank you.